Hi, my name is Annie Huen and this is my Q&A video. The first question I'll be answering is, considering we were unable to perform our VCN this year, what is your plan for next year's VCN? Well, my plan for next year's VCN is to ask San Marcos to join us once again, since I have heard many great stories about them. Once I get the approval of the other board members, I would like to contact them as soon as possible to get the process started. I believe that with more people and minds at work, we will have a better time managing and preparing for the big event. My general plan is to get everything planned and started as soon as possible so that if anything goes wrong, then we will still have time to fix the problem. Also, we could get more peop members to participate if we build their interest early. If I get the position, I will reach out to Jessie about her script for the act and decide whether to use it completely or to modify it to meet the talents of the actors and actresses, all with Jessie's consent, of course. As for the dances, I will reach out to choreographers and have backups just in case. Based on our budget and estimate of attendees, I would like to book the venue on campus because more SDSU students will be able to attend. Also, with the big event on campus, VCA could apply for the school grant that would help us with financing the event. Speaking about fin speaking of financing, I would like to host more fundraisers by reaching out to restaurants, milk tea places, etc. for their cooperation. Another thing I have in mind is the process for promoting the event. I believe that we can make it more well known across campus with more flyers and posts on our social media. The second question is, have you participated in VCN before? If so, how would you like to improve and build on the VCN that you host? If not, how do you plan to organize an event that you haven't previously experienced? I have definitely have a lot to learn about VCN because I have not attended uh, VCN in person before. Instead, I have watched previous year's VCN on YouTube and took notes as an audience member. I plan on reaching out to previous VCN directors and other VCN directors during my year to get their input and advice. I will also be extremely open-minded to ideas and help from other board members. Even though I have not fully experienced the event in person, I know many people that have and I will ask them to let me in on their expertise. I am not afraid to ask for help and I am always open to constructive criticism. The third question that I will be answering is a scenario. One of your committee heads is not taking initiative and is not meeting the deadlines that you have set for them, even though you have reminded them couple, um, multiple times. What will you do next? Well, I would ask them to meet in person and talk about the tasks that need to be done. If that is not possible, I would try to give them a phone call. If they need help with meeting the deadlines, I will make sure that they are comfortable enough to come to me for help or ask others for help too. I can give them suggestions as to how they can meet their deadlines. If the committee head does not respond completely, I will ask another person to take over the duties or spread the work amongst other committee heads and board members who volunteered to help. Thank you.